In this example, we want to figure out the probability that if I randomly choose a number between 3 and 14, where I'm including the ends, I'm including 3 and I'm including 14, what is the probability that it's an even integer? Now, what I want to partially illustrate here is that this questionable probability is intrinsically tied to the idea of counting, and that, that in many ways answering a probability problem is, is answering a question about counting. So let's pull up the particular integers that we're interested in. So I've got 3, 4, all the way down to 14. And I've highlighted in yellow the even integers. So what our formula told us is that I want to investigate the number of of things in our event. So in this case, the number of evens it happens to be denoted by an E as well, but it stands for event, divided out by the number in our sample space, and that this is going to be the probability of our event. So we have to do these two countings. So let's count the even ones first. I've got 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. So that looks like six evens are appearing here. So this is going to give me uh, six. And then the total number of things between 3 and 14 is 12. So divided out by 12 here. In other words, this is going to be 0 0.5 or 50% as well. But notice that if I change this question a little bit, suppose I then went and said from all the way from 3 up to 15. Well, how does that change? 15 is not an even integer but it would increase the number down here from 12 to 13. And so your probability would change because you've increased the size of your sample space even though you haven't changed the number of evens. You haven't changed the number in your event.